I mean, we just, I mean, we just, any excuse to have a party, and you'll be seeing us Armenian dancing. Actually, on the way here in the trolley, there was some Armenian dancing going on, so any place that we can, we will. I want to thank the Williams and Kazanjian family and their extended family for accepting us and the wonderful relationship we have and will continue to have in the future. The best decision 30 years ago, actually when I was 15 I made the decision, but to marry my wife. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me. She's a saint and she's the glue to our family. And then I meet Robin, who is like my wife. She's amazing. Today's a big day for me. I finally get a son. And Mark's always been like a son to me as I've got to know him. But today he is my son. Mountain times under the footsteps of a world that broke the darkest night. Mark, I'm thrilled. I love the days at the football games, hanging out at the house, having our bourbon. And when I came to know Mark, I kind of, you kind of watch your father, you know, who is this guy? And everybody in Philly tells me he's the best guy in town. He's awesome, he's this, and, and he truly is. I, Mark is a special individual. He's got a great heart. He loves my daughter. And we couldn't even be prouder, Mark, to have you as my son. For those of you who don't know the story behind Carly and Mark meeting, I'll give you a brief background. The two met at an Armenian event in May 2007 in Detroit, and Mark caught her eye with his nice dance moves. Carly and Mark's paths crossed again that summer in New York City as they both had internships and were hanging out with mutual Armenian friends. A year and a half before Carly and Mark met, I already committed to Villanova, which is really random for a girl from Michigan to do. The darkest night, you with the full heart, and opening eyes. And it happened to be my husband's birthday. Lindsay and I said, well, we're going to go to bed. So we went upstairs, and that was when Mark took the opportunity to ask my husband alone for Carly's hand. To hear the deep and all I remember is my husband, Michael, shouting, Lori, Lindsay, come down. It, you know, I gotta tell you something. And we thought, what? What is going on? I threw on my robe and I came down. And I said, what's going on? And Mark said, I just asked for Carly's hand in marriage. Although I transferred to Michigan, I can honestly look back and say, my experience at Nova were quite possibly the best two years of my life because I was able to see my sister fall in love. They love to cook together, which is great. Uh, I think they both enjoy traveling. They love sports. They have a lot of they have a lot of things in common, which is wonderful. Now that he has met the love of his life, we are doubly thrilled to be welcoming Carly into our family. Know that this is just the start of many, many, many happy times. July 14th, Mark had made a plan. The rest of the world is 
was asleep. That he would take her running along the Schuylkill River. My family and the Williams was waiting at the waterworks. Down the steeple of ash. The rain was coming down, I was filthy and black. The actual proposal was pretty amazing, and the night before he had planted a bicycle lock near the running trail. Mark had taken her on the run, stopped, and unburied the lock. And my love. Because apparently in Europe, that's a, the lock along the chain link fence is a symbol of love because it can't, you know, you can't break off a lock. I wonder what else it could be. He said, well, put the lock on the fence and she turned around to lock the lock on the fence. Sometimes I feel that I'm changed. And when she turned back, he was down on one knee. By those women on the hills. Perfect. Carly has always been very vivacious and theatrical. When she was a little girl, she would gather up her younger sister and two cousins, and she would direct them in plays. She was always the producer. Thank you, Mom. Ooh, it's so pretty. They would have to act out in her plays in front of our family during uh, special occasions, holidays or birthdays. Of course, it naturally follows that when she graduated from the University of Michigan, she had a degree in communications. Uh, hello. Oh, come here and say hi. Well, I mean, I'm great. I'm not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, you look so good. Yeah, yeah. Carly, quite simply, I am so happy you went up to my brother that one sports weekend and said, you're a good dancer. <laughs> I know I wasn't the easiest baby sister and probably caused a few gray hairs, but as we have grown up, I've been able to learn so many things from you, mostly how to be a better person. And it's just one of the many aspects of you that makes me so grateful to be able to call you my brother. And my, love. my friendship with Mark started, I think we were about 10 years old. We went to St. Varton camp together. We were both really shy people at the time. I think we were more afraid of women than anything else on the face of the earth. So to see him get married is uh, an unbelievable thing, and it's, it's fantastic. Sometimes I How's she doing in the dress? She walking okay? Location-wise, I can, I see them in Philadelphia. I'm in five years' time. I just, regardless of where they go or what they do, I imagine them together. I imagine them happy. have asked for not only a better sister-in-law but just a family to add on to our family I think we're really lucky that not only do we get along but we just really click The Armenian culture is important to both of our families, both the Hartunians and the uh, Kazanjian Williams family. 
And so, of course, we were delighted that Carly was active in our Detroit Armenian community and that she actually branched out and made Armenian friends from all across the U.S. The Armenian culture has certain traditions, and it's interesting because the traditions vary from what city you're in. Of course, our grandparents brought these traditions over from the old country, Armenia, back at the uh, turn of the 20th century but they've somehow taken a life of their own. We have certain customs that we follow in Detroit, while the Philadelphia Armenians have other customs, symbolizing the good things in life. Well, the Armenian culture is something that you're born into. I don't think you ever let it go no matter whether you are intimately involved in the community or not, it just seems to be something that is innate, something that you always feel connected with. What is unique about it is that you may not know somebody, but when you know they're Armenian, you feel this immediate bond. <laughs> have so many things in common and even though you're maybe not from the same town or the same city all of a sudden you start talking about people next thing you know oh you know this one I know that one and it's a very unique situation oh, we do weird dancing everywhere and we're our group of friends is generally one of the more rambunctious groups of people that wherever we go Armenians regardless are a very excited people and we we party a lot, we drink a lot, we have a lot of fun. Um, but our group of friends, we're always the first people on the dance floor. We're the last to leave. They warm everybody's heart. I think everybody here is having such a good time because of the energy that they are giving off. I think that they, you know, the love that they have is rubbing off on everybody else. And they're such a warm, the Haratunians are such a warm and loving family. They've really embraced us and we've embraced them and I just want to thank them for that. My son Mark, do you take to yourself this woman, Carly, as your wife and promise always to be true and loyal to her as long as you both shall live? Yes, Reverend Father, I do by the will and grace of God. My son Mark, do you take to yourself this woman Carly as your wife and do you promise always to love her and honor her as long as you both shall live? Yes, Reverend Father, I do by the will and grace of God. Good job. My daughter Carly, do you take to yourself this man Mark as your husband 
And do you promise always to be true and loyal to him as long as you both shall live? Yes, Reverend Father, I do by the will and grace of God. Vortiagim, minchevi mahderes. My daughter Carly, do you take to yourself this man, Mark, as your husband, and do you promise always to love him and honor him as long as you both shall live? Yes, Reverend Father, I do by the will and grace of God. Good job. She's trying, both they are trying to impress me. When we met in my office, I remember always you wanted to keep the tradition alive. I'm so happy, so honored, and so proud. The way you walked in with the Armenian dance kept the heritage alive. Now and always and forever and ever, amen. The king shall rejoice in thy strength, O Lord, and in thy salvation he shall be exceedingly glad. The maiden shall be led unto the king after him, and the virgin, her companion that follow her, shall be brought unto him. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy. Love is patient, love is kind. It is not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. It is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. Our Savior Jesus Christ, who by blessing the wedding in Ghana did bless marriage and did establish as our high priest, whom God has joined together, let not men separate. You, Lord, unite this servant, Mark and Carly, together join in the spirit of meekness, loving one another with modesty and pure spirit. They may see children of their children and be unto thee, people serving thee, glorifying thee together with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and always and forever and ever. Amen. Now you can go and see. No, 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 put the crown on it. Yes, you hold it, you go and sit. The Armenian culture is important to both of our families. But a similar custom that we share is the henna party, and that typically occurs the night before the wedding. Carly is sitting in a chair surrounded by loved ones and I as a mother of the bride kicked off the festivities by dancing around her with a platter of sweets. The women surround Carly and dance around her with this tray of sweets and henna and we all take a turn of dipping our finger in the henna. The, the, the family would um, invite their closest friends and family the night before the wedding and you'd get a little henna on your pinky. That was pretty much your invitation to the party but if you had that henna on your pinky, that was your entrance into the church. So you can actually be with the bride and groom on their special day. You are Mark and Carly's family. You're the closest people to them. It shows today. You're all invited to the wedding, obviously. Both of you are here to make the same commitment as your parents did. And here comes the sunshine. But they made their commitment and you came here today to do in the same way to follow the footsteps of your parents. 
The center of the marriage is love, and the center of the society is the family. It's a very small community, and being that everyone is very close with each other, our grandparents grew up together, our parents grew up together, and now we're fortunate enough that we're able to grow up together. And I mean, we have spent every wonderful occasion, every momentous occasion together. It's a very old culture, and so I think that as years have gone by, I think that it's kind of changed in the sense that a long time ago, it used to be keeping the religion going, and I think now it's kind of more so gone towards really making sure that we stay together as a unit. Really making sure that we're supporting each other and just there for each other during these wonderful occasions. Take a moment in your life, look back to your parents, and you see what kind of commitment that they've made. And I'm sure you will follow their footsteps because they raised wonderful children. You will be walking out as a husband and wife. For first time, you are Mr. and Mrs. Mark and Carly Williams. Mark, you can kiss your bride. And even though you won't be there, your spirit's always with us. And I, I can tell you one of the true joys for me when your daughter leaves your home and she goes away. Um, but I can tell you after Lori and I have spent many days and times with the Kazanjian and Williams family, with Mark. It couldn't be any better than this. My father-in-law had a very special, I'm gonna lose it here. He had a very special bond with you, Mark. I don't know if everybody knows this, but if, if Dad had had a son, he was going to name him Mark. That's the one connection, and your middle name is Edward, so I know he's with us. Aunt Robin, Uncle Jerry, Alexis are also three fantastic people who've also had a great impact on your life. I've always considered them as family, just like I've always considered you as my brother. But honestly, like me, you're able to say you had one of the best role models in your life, in your grandfather, who, like me, you're able to grow well into your adult life, learning from him and passing along what he has taught you. And I think that's fantastic. I look forward baptizing your children. Thank you. Keep it up. Come on. I, I don't hear the spoons and the knives. What's going on? Come on. To keep tradition alive is one of the best things ever. And I'm once again very happy, proud for both of you as a beautiful young couple. Blessing from my heart to all of you. Christos Astvazmer, Ortniader, Hokevor Ortnutiam, Seganas, Seganagitsas, Yevhamain Barakaiks, Nayev Norok Psagyal, Margos Yev Sirarpi. Zaraikan and Tomania Surpia Badwagan Hachivet Po Ihaut Yam Jashage Suk, Hautiampas Geragurus, for Barkevial Mesidiarne, 
Ort Niale, Deri Barkeve Suramen. Bless O Lord, this meal which has been presented for all of our use in the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bon appetit. Hare Akhorjak. God bless you. So as I wrapped up the speech, I'm gonna give you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish with this saying, this Armenian saying. But before I say in Armenian, I'm gonna say it so Mark can understand it. Which means may you both grow on old on one pillow. I love you both. Cheers. Let's have a great time tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Most of you know, the Turks tried to prevent a day like this. Well, my grandparents and the Williams grandparents and forefathers were surviving in their lives to make it here and other places in the world, to make a better place for all of us. They made ultimate sacrifices, and they came here with nothing and made themselves a family. And I wish they could be here today to see that the Armenian tradition still lives. There will be more Armenians. And no matter how hard they try, these days will never end. And for that, I thank our parents. We are going to do the traditional bottle dance. Although the Armenian culture is very important to both of them, in fact, Mark traveled to Hayastan, Armenia, and I know that he went to Armenian school while he was young in Philadelphia. Carly, of course, went to various Armenian camps, as did Mark, went to Armenian dances. I think they just grew up with it, and not that it was expected, but it was certainly welcomed and we're just overjoyed that they found each other. Carly, I love your energy your enthusiasm, your perseverance, and, and you are the spirit to our family, to have, to know that my daughter's well cared for, people that love her, and I have no worries that Mark will take care of her and they'll take care of each other. They'll be happy, and God forbid, on those bad days, they have an extended supportive family that couldn't take care of anybody than Lori and I could. So I'm thrilled. I rest, I couldn't be any happier today. Today is the best day of my life. They say it doesn't get any better than this. But I've had a few of my patients tell me there's nothing better than grandchildren. So it's a great day today. We'll give you some time, but I hear there's better days.
Seeing how happy you make my big sister makes me happy. You are so loving and patient, and you compliment Carly so well. Always have an ice cold water next to her bed, and never ever touch her fluffy cold pillow. I'd also like to say that I know Grandma Polyphian and Great Aunt Carm are watching down on this beautiful Armenian wedding. Rising from dust, watching as the night burns through us, walking through the clouds of what was, we are alive. Thank you for bringing him so much happiness. Even though you have your own one-of-a-kind sister, you have embraced me and welcomed me into your life as a sister, and I can't express to you how much you have enriched my life. The love you both have for each other is one that should be emulated. I look at the two of you and think how lucky and how special it is that you have found each other. There is not a question in my mind that you will have a strong, invulnerable, fairy tale marriage as you have two wonderful models in our parents. Let's chase this forever. I wish you both nothing but a lifetime of all the laughter, love, and joy that you both deserve. I love you both. Never planned it, but we don't need to understand it. So I remember meeting you back at Detroit Sports Weekend. You're the nicest girl I've ever met. I remember that day perfectly. And when Mark told me that you guys had begun talking at the HBU internship, I, as well as everybody that stood beside you guys, knew that this was a match made in heaven. And this is why you're Mark's angel. Now, Mark, you have found the perfect person. You found somebody who likes sports. You found somebody who plays sports, football, soccer. You've also found someone you can share shorts with. Mark, I may be your best man today, but I'll be your best friend forever. I'm always here for you. You are all special in some way to either of our families, indirectly or directly. We love all of you for being parts of our lives, and more importantly, being parts of Carly and Mark's lives, because in them, is all a part of all of you. We can't wait to get there. Our hearts race together. I want to, you know, it's, it, life's a road trip, if you will. The most important thing for a road trip isn't necessarily where you're driving to or what stops you take. It's who's in the car with you. you know, if you have the right person in the car with you, you're going to enjoy your, your trip. And they found that right person. He loves her tremendously, and I think that that's going to keep them close. I know, I have no doubt, that they're going to have a, a life filled with just wonderful memories. They have a, a very bright future ahead, and I'm going to be so excited. God willing, I'm going to stick around and, and get to see it all. Can't wait to get there. Our hearts race together. Come on, let's go. Congratulations to Mark and Carly. They just got married today. I handed out the programs earlier today, so maybe well, I'm going to dance tonight a lot. You're beautiful tonight. 
Now, I would say you look like a princess, but that's Mark's nickname, and you just can't have it. That was awesome. There's no heart like Carly Hart. Which, by the way, that's her Twitter handle if anyone wants to tweet her right now. Long ball. Gonna go on. Still got it! <laughs> Everybody keep it, in, keep it in their pants in the church. Nobody needs to get kicked out. First time I actually went over and stayed over his house. Uh, we rented uh, Grand Theft Auto 2, and we were s staying up in his, uh, his room playing Grand Theft Auto 2, and his grandparents came over for dinner, and uh, we ended up telling him what we were doing, and I think they thought I was like the, like the devil. He'd be so excited and fired up that he'd, he'd hip check you, and you end up like falling like 15 feet to the right. Like every, every single time, like bar none, or he also would smack your ass. So it was, yeah, he's a, he's a very sensitive man. I think his sensitivity ages like a fine wine. Um, the longer it sits in the barrel or in the in the bottle, he just gets more sensitive and it's more delicious. Um, who says that shit? Um, I love that line. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. He also ended up having to translate. My cousin Michael and I got in like six fights when we were running, and he ended up having to get in the middle of all of them because we couldn't yell at the other people in English because they wouldn't understand it, so he'd translate our yelling. Now, my name is Chris Torkomian, 27 years old. I enjoy long walks on the beach, candlelit dinners, eligible bachelor, reading my Match.com profile right now. You leave it, I'll pick it up. <laughs> I'll pick it up. For some of you you don't know, in two weeks we will be celebrating 50th anniversary of being in this location. So it's a golden anniversary edition. And how many bachelor and bachelorettes we have? Raise your hand. I do hope for all of you, next will be your weddings. <laughs>